Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can steal Alex Hermosi's $100 million marketing strategy by just using AI. Most people get stuck when they're trying to market because they have no idea where to start or they think that they're not creative enough. They then say it's an art, not a science, and I just can't figure it out. But here's the truth. Marketing is closer to a science than you think. And thanks to AI, you don't need to be that creative anymore. Anyone can replicate proven strategies thanks to AI. In this video, I'm going to break down Alex Hermosi's exact content strategy when it comes to paid ads and organic content. And I'm going to read build four different content types using AI and show you step by step how you can do it too. And I'll also reveal an A-B testing framework that nobody's really talking about that's simple but can be an absolute game changer. And by the end, you'll have a complete framework that you can apply today to anything that you're building on. And by the way, I'm Mac and Cheesy. I use the exact strategies to build a seven-figure business while having a full-time job. And I'm currently the COO of an eight-figure tech startup. If you want to know more about me, you can just check the description of this video. Let's dive into it. First, who is Alex Hermosi and why do we care about his marketing strategy? Well, he's He's a viral business influencer who originally went famous through his book called $100 Million Offers. And to his credit, this book wasn't just theoretical. It actually helped me reshape my agency business as I scaled it to over 15 people. And he recently released a book called $100 Million Leads, which is all about marketing. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to go through some of the marketing strategies he currently uses. And rather than having it abstract, I'm going to actually build things on the fly and apply them to my free email course that I have in the description below. And this business is all about how you can start a business in five days with AI. We're going to be looking at two different strategies that he uses, his paid ad strategy and his organic social media strategy. In short, paid ads is like renting a billboard. You put your message in front of people and it gets eyeballs on it immediately. But the second you stop paying, that billboard comes down and there's no recurring benefit. Now, organic content, think of this like planting a garden. It takes time to grow and for you to see the fruits of your labor. But over time, it can provide sustainable results where you don't have to pay for every single view you get. And now what makes Alex special is that he has mastered both of these things. I'll get into it later in the video, but his paid ads and his organic ads, they feed into each other. He'll test something quickly with organic social media, like he'll type and write a tweet. He'll see if that works. And if it resonates, he'll then make a video on it. Call that an Instagram reel. And in the background, if these things are converting, he'll create an ad with a similar copy. And this ad then uses a proven framework so that it can draw drive customers to his product. So it's geniusly simple, but he uses paid and organic to complement each other. So that's the high level. Let's dive into part one, his paid ads. The key to any paid ad approach is not reinventing the wheel. So everything that we do here will be recreating content based on stuff that already works. And the fascinating thing about Hermosi's marketing approach is his deceptively simple Facebook ad strategy. Here's what a lot of people aren't aware of. You can actually go in and see exactly what Hermosi is doing today on his Facebook ads account. Like you can legally spot on what companies are running ad spend to. Just go to Facebook's ad library, search their name, and then you can instantly see what they're working on right now. So this will give you a proven blueprint to model. And so when you see on this page, you'll see all of Hermosi's ads that he's running right now. And if you scroll down, you'll see older ads. Generally speaking, the older the ad, the more effective it is because they wouldn't be running an ad that's losing them money for that long of a time period. And right now, in terms of his active ads, it looks like there are two distinct ad formats. He has static and video ads. So these ads, are actually remarkably simple to make. So I'm going to make it even harder for us and recreate some additional competitors ads and show an A-B testing framework. But first, let's look at Alex's static Facebook ads. So he's using a really interesting format here where he takes his best tweets and turns them into simple, high converting Facebook ads. And I touched on it earlier, but this is good because he can effectively test copy on Twitter, see what resonates. If it resonates, create an ad run ad spend. This is like a flywheel for testing content, finding what works. And that's why organic is actually so powerful. So, all right, we're going to recreate this Twitter format. First, we have to create the copy. So let's use Alex's writing tone to recreate a tweet that promotes my product. So the first thing I did is I went into ChatGPT and I said, do you know who Alex Ramosi is and do you know his writing style? And ChatGPT does know him and knows his writing style. For big creators, it usually will. And the reason I did this is because I don't want to have to bring in additional training data to write in his style, especially if I don't have to. And now if you prefer creating content in a tone of a 
different creator that may be smaller and ChatGPT may not have their writing style. You can manually go in, grab their tweets, create a data set to train ChatGPT on, or you could use the Twitter API to pull in tweets. And now this is just a way to recreate content in a specific person's tone. So for me, I want to create Alex Ramosi style tweets. So I ask it, can you make me three tweets in his style? This is really just to check that it knows how to write because I know Alex Ramosi style. If you're not making money, it's not a motivation problem. All right. I already know that it has a good understanding. Um, so I'm like, okay, this website has details around my offer. Create five tweets that are written in an Alex Ramosi style that can inspire someone to take action and start a business. So it creates me a bunch of different options. I noticed when I looked at his paid ads, the graphic itself isn't promoting his offer. It's more of a generic inspiration. So I go back, the tweet shouldn't directly promote the offer, but instead get someone thinking they should take action. Gives me a bunch of options. And I found one that I really liked. Most people spend years thinking about their dream business. A few take one week to actually start it. You don't need more time. You need more action. Beautiful. This is exactly like her mosey, right? Direct direct, contrarian, and actionable. Now it's time to generate the ad creative. <clears throat> so I bring a screenshot of the image and I say recreate this image, but with a different person who tweeted it and a different tweet. I want the Twitter icon to be me, Twitter name, me, username, me, and then the tweet itself. So I bring it in and this image is essentially exactly what I want, except for the icon. My guess is going to be hard to get that exact. So I'm going to bring this into Canva and just swap out the image with my own personal image. Just clean this bad boy up and boom. All right, great. I have a Twitter format ad. I can use this anywhere I want. Now, if you want to do this entirely in Canva, you totally can. I suggest using the inter font. It's the closest to Twitter's actual font, which is called Chirp. So that's a static tweet format. Pretty simple. The key here is getting the copyright. And that's where we're using Hermosi's voice and AI to generate that in seconds. Now let's move on to the second format that Alex uses. And these are the typical talking head videos. Quick, high impact, emotion driven videos with captions. And we're going to recreate this all with AI. So now you can see the ad here. Uh, first, I'm actually going to transcript it by downloading it using this tool. I'm going to link all these tools in the description. Once I get the downloaded video, I'm transcribing it with this tool. Now that I have that transcript, I know exactly the script that he had. And I'm going to bring this into ChatGPT to create a personal script. Ad copywriter here is a video script of a converting short form ad of a person talking through an offer. Goal, remake this same style of the script for the offer outline on this website. Here's the prompt, and then here is the script. And that's when you realize the biggest hurdle isn't coming up with the ideas, it's knowing which ones to pursue. Overthinking keeps you stuck, but action moves you forward. Pretty good, this is a good starting point. So, okay, so I have the script for my video. Essentially next, I have to film the video. Um, I just set up my camera and talked into it. I use my iPhone camera for this because that's something that everyone watching this probably has a smartphone. Now I wanna edit it the exact style that Hermosi does, and I'm gonna use an AI tool for this. It's actually pretty straightforward. I just upload my video and then it cuts it, creates the captions on my behalf, and it's pretty strong. Now, I have this video with captions. It's cut nicely, but there's one thing that I need to still do. If you go to the end of the Hermosi video, you'll see that he has a call to action graphic. And this is so people watch the video and then they act, they click the link. So to do that, I bring it into ChatGPT and use the same image generation tool that I use for the tweet. This again is pretty straightforward. I just tell it to change the copy in the top and bottom and then swap in my own asset into the body of the image. And after a couple back and forth, I have this image that I can throw at the end of my video. So within 30 minutes, I was able to create this same static ad template as well as the video based ad. But at this point, I know exactly what you're thinking. Thinking. This is all using your personal brand and I don't have one or I don't want to have to use my brand. I don't want to have to show my face. Okay, that's fine. Which brings us to the next part. One thing that Hermosi swears by is checking what other people are doing and learn from them. And he believes in A-B testing as much as possible so you can find winning strategies. Simply put, A-B testing with content works because you're replacing opinions with evidence. Instead of guessing what your audience prefers, you show two variations to similar groups and measure which one actually performs better. And over time, you're able to hone in on demographic and message to find the perfect ad creative. In fact, if you go to Hermosi's tweet format ad, you'll see all the different copy he's currently testing. These are all different A-B tests. So what we're going to do is use a Facebook ad tool to look at competitors in the newsletter space, have AI recreate their ad in my own personal style, and then generate multiple variations
recommendations simultaneously to test different demographics. Let me show you exactly how to do this. So first I identified two successful businesses in this newsletter business space, Morning Brew and The Hustle. I did this through ChatGPT. I said, this is my offer. Find other top newsletters, lead magnets that are in this category. Um, and then found The Hustle, Morning Brew. Beautiful. So now I go into Facebook ads. I take a look at their different ads that they have currently running. Look at some older ads. Remember that these are usually the better performing ones. And then I find an example that I love. It's this version where it's like 100 genius side hustle ideas to help you earn extra income. Get the guide here. And somebody working an iPad. And so what I did is I said, this is my website. I brought in my book, Entrepreneurship on Easy Mode. I found a competitor's ad that I really like. Remake the ad for my offering and in my branding slash style. I attached the cover image that shows shown on the hero image on our website for reference. It comes up with like this first version, which is pretty good. I then tell it exactly what copy to make the person I want to speak to. And it comes away with this ad, which is really good. Honestly, there's some duplicate copies. So I go back and forth and then I eventually land on this ad. Start a business in five days with the help of AI. Being an entrepreneur is now in easy mode. Get your free guide to the end. Beautiful. Now, one thing that I've noticed when using ChatGPT for image generation is once you get a reference that you like, create a new chat and then have it iterate from there. This almost allows for the AI to like reset its thinking. And so that way, if you want to create a variation of that, it won't be building off the same image that it just generated. Instead, it sees your new reference image and then generates from there. Play around with it. I found that works for me for specific types of image generations. And now what you want to do next is the key for the A-B testing. I don't want to stay in chat GPT because frankly, this is a little slow. And so what I do next is I go to Sora, which is essentially chat GPT's specific image generation tool. And what Sora allows me to do is a couple things is one, create multiple variations simultaneously from the same prompt. And two, it allows me to background or queue multiple requests at the same time. This allows me to create variations of the same ad at a rapid pace in relation to chat GPT. So what would take normally 20 minutes now took me about two minutes. And so what I did is I created different demographics of the person who's on the computer in this ad. You'll see some younger people, you'll see some women. And now we have different ads that could target different demographics because generally people like buying things from people that look like them. I was able to create these rapidly, but you can imagine doing the same thing for different texts, different demographics, different images. And this is an absolute cheat code that everybody will be doing in the future that would previously take hours and hours and thousands of dollars, but now takes a fraction of the time and is essentially free. Like literally rewind the clock six months ago, you would have to have a ad person take professional photos of four or five different people that look differently, bring that into the image. Absolutely brutal. But I just did it in seconds. And most people have no idea that you can do this right now today. And what this empowers is hyper specific targeting. Are you a 25 year old male in New York or a 45 year old woman in California? I'm going to choose the right creative for you. Is it your birthday on May 5th? Is it your birthday on May 6th? Well, I'm going to hit you on those days with specific assets. Okay, so that's part one where we're diving into paid ads and the different ways that Alex Ramosi is generating content and how you can look at different competitors and create content that you can then A-B test. But what about organic strategy? Okay, so part two, organic content. Let's break down Alex Ramosi's organic content strategy. To keep it simple, I'm going to look at his Instagram and the different types of posts that he's currently doing. The first is talking head videos. And you'll notice that we actually all already learned how to create these in part one of this video. These are just variations of that type of content. And he's just running ads through the ones that work. And you'll notice he has a tweet plus a photo background. Again, this is exactly what we did in part one of this video, recreating this exact piece of content. At this point, you might be thinking, oh, these are very similar to his paid ads. And that's the exact point. And let's go to a third type of post, which is his quote posts. Hormozzi started doing these recently and they're pretty epic. It's essentially graphic with an inspirational quote. So let's go and check one out. So here's a man with twice the courage and half the intellect will always beat a man with half the courage and twice the intellect. Pretty dope. Hormozzi at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate this with one of my Mac and mantras, which is people think only taking action is a choice. But every time you wait, hesitate or stall, you're still choosing. You're just choosing to stay the same. And so in order to recreate this, I say recreate an image like this, but with the following text. I bring in the text. I also want the image to be different depiction of a person looking and seeing two paths. The person looks similar to the image attached. Look at me with that pink beanie. The image should have the exact same style as the original photo, except instead of yellow color it's ff0099 my trademarked 
pink. And so, bada bing, bada boom, pretty epic. Notice one thing, there's no mac and cheesy text at the bottom, similar to Hermosi. And then I add that to the bottom. At the bottom of this text says mac and cheesy, keep everything else the same. And what I did was I actually opened up the page and then I highlighted the bottom. So the AI knew exactly where to add the text. And just like that, we have a new piece of content that we can post on our Instagram. Across these three different post styles, Hermosi is building his organic audience. But here's why this is so valuable. Any brand, person, or business can recreate these same exact styles. If you're building something and you don't want to create the content, you can create these images without anybody. If you want to create the talking head style, you can use audio from people just like Hermosi, but overlay inspirational images that are associated with your product. These are all building blocks to create pieces of content that you can then use for your business. But the key here is that these building blocks, which six months ago would cost you thousands of dollars and take hours and hours, now does not require that. This marketing thing can be intimidating, but if you just step back and think, how can I follow what people are already doing so that I can streamline my success, you're going to be that much more successful. So in this video, we broke down exactly what Alex Hermosi does for his $100 million marketing strategy. We analyzed his tweet format, Facebook ads, and how we can recreate those. We recreated his video ad using AI. We analyzed competitors and created ways to A-B test different pieces of content, just like Hermosi does. And then we took a look at Hermosi's Instagram organic strategy and showed exactly how you can recreate these types of posts. Now, if you like this video, you're going to love this video about how Peter Levels, a famous internet entrepreneur, built a product using AI in three hours that went on to make over 70K a month. Thank you for watching. Let's keep building and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it.